everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I am just doing a little bit of work today on my latest journal that I'm working on. It's kind of an ornithology journal. It's all the birds that are happening upon us at this time of year. Um, so what I want to make today are actually some page tabs like this little one that I have made already. Absolutely love it. So hopefully you see it's on a whale tail tab. We have this little bird. We have a little leaf, some lace. Um, some threads and I did a little cross stitch little X through there um, so I'm going to show you how to make those and I want to make I think there are nine signatures in this book three six nine so I think I will make about five of them to go in here um, <clears throat> so let's get the book out of the way and I will show you the plan so first thing is we need like a nice sort of heavier weight scrap I've got this bit of this map so I'm going to punch a whale tail out of it you can use any kind of tab you can also cut out a tab by hand it doesn't have to be a complex shape at all you could literally just do a rectangle it doesn't matter so I need a tab and I need a circle and this is um, a one inch circle yeah one inch and I'm using the one inch because that's like the size that I want for this book and the bird heads that I'm using so I'm just grabbing this I like this because it's just a nice neutral color so I'll set that scrap aside because we will use it again so then I will just fold my tab in half to prep it we'll set that aside and then the next thing I need to do from the Handbook of Common Birds of New Zealand, um, which is what I just happened to be using, take this page out and um, this one as well. I'm trying to like use all the pages that or get rid of them as I go in these books. Um, if I know like I can use it for backing like this, I tear it out because that's another way that I kind of thin out my book collection a little bit. So what I'm looking for in this book are bird heads that I would want to use in this book. Um, probably, you know, about an inch or, or less um, in size. Tear these out too. We'll use those for backing. Backing things. And I think most of the smaller birds are at the back here. I'm not going to use those guys. There are maybe, oh, these are perfect. These are the kind of birds I'm looking for. So there's three of those. Oh, and then there's two of these guys. Okay, let's go with these guys. Keep it easy. Um, so then what I want to do is get my scissors here. We'll start with this one. I'm just going to cut it off right at the neck. And we'll bring this, this out. <clears throat> then we'll just kind of fussy cut the bird head out. Okay. So now we want to add a bit of interest before we add this on here. And I have to sort of decide how I want that to be done. So the last one I used a bit of lace and I may use a bit of lace on this one too, just to kind of show you how, um, you know, I did that. And I'm going to use a little um, pink thread as well some scraps hanging around here and you know you can look to your bird for inspiration so this bird has some pink in there so then all I do is this I take this a bit here you can add fabric tack on here if you want to um, <clears throat> but I'm not going to what I'm gonna do is take the circle and prepare it kind of just like a decorative little button um, to provide a base to glue this on to. Oh, and I forgot a step. I'll show that to you after though. I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stick the or stitch this down and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back from the sewing machine and I just used a couple lines of zigzag stitch and see that's all adhered on there. Okay, and I, I have black thread in my machine and I just love the the fact that it's like really present, right? You can see that that's what, what I intended to do. <clears throat> now the part I was talking about that I want to do with this is I've got this nice little scrap here. This is 49 in market paper. 
I want to glue the bird down to it and then fussy cut it again um, because it needs a little bit of strength um, you know to hold up because it's a tab now I'm gonna have some other things like lace and stuff because I kind of want to make this book like a little bit um, effeminate like a bit of lady ornithology probably um, but not like super effeminate so there will be other things that are sticking out of the book to kind of support these tabs but this will make this very strong and you can choose to leave a little border I'll probably do that on an, on another one to show you what I mean the other thing it does is it's going to give a backing so that you won't see that white paper on the back for those of you who don't you know like that I don't honestly mind but there we go so now we have our bird again so then I will just glue here on the neck part we're gonna glue it right onto the button <clears throat> and then just kind of give it a pinch for a sec you can use Fabri-Tac or or uh, art glitter glue or any other fabric e you know type glue or higher test glue this I, I i like using um either really it doesn't matter so then you're going to get your tab now when a tab goes on a page it's going to go on like this so we want to glue this on here easy peasy you just glue the back of your button Then you'll get your tab and just glue it right kind of toward the edge of the tab so see we've got a little bit of the bird head with the backing and the lace sticking out just kind of secure it a bit give it a squeezy then you can open up your tab and this is where I bring the book back over now <clears throat> of the pages that I want to attach the tabs I want these to kind of be peeking out of the book so I'm going to use the widest page so see when you go in the journal I've got all different widths of pages right so I, I've used this wide page to add my tab <clears throat> so I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to find a page that's sticking pretty out out of the book I'm going to choose I think I'm also looking at it to see which which side would ser be served the best with a tab of all the pages that are sticky outy because some pages are boring and plain like say this one right it has nothing going on on this side so this is a good one so then I'm also going to position it in like the second position of the tabs going down the book meaning if this is first place we're going to go to second place because I'm going to put five of these in I'm not putting one on every signature because I'll be doing other things um, but you'll see once I get this in it's cute okay so there's the tab there's the back on the page okay so then if we put this back in position and then we put this one back in position see we have bird one bird two and then three will go here four five so let's make three more of these I think yeah three more <clears throat> let's choose this pretty one here this lovely bird these are red pole and this time I will glue this down before I cut it out with glue stick here oh and I just realized I didn't stitch on that one I'll show you the stitching on this one they don't all have to be stitched on again you know this is like varied like do what you like you know you could cut these leaves out like maybe I'll do that so as a bit of a decoration right I can cut a couple of these little leaves they're so dainty and then we can choose to glue those dainty little leaves maybe here it'll just be a little decoration why not so then we'll cut around our bird and our leaf Okay. 
Then we need to do our stamps. Our punches, rather. Okay, so then what do we want to do with this one to make it interesting? Um, I think I'll take a little bit. There's a bit of yellow in here. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow fabric. This is just some leftover binding, seam binding that I've got hanging around. I'll just kind of give it a little twist and a wiggle here. And that will go on there. Then, um, what else do I want to do with this? Maybe... Maybe a little book spine. Yeah, that would be cute. Okay, so again, I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to zigzag across this just to affix it all together and to add some of those nice uh, strings. And actually, speaking of strings, I've got a bit of... Um, let's take some green. I'm tempted to do yellow, but I'll do green just to add some different colors. And I'll just stitch that on there too. So let me go stitch and I'll be right back. All right, so that's just been stitched across. So now we will add our little bird. Again, just gluing the neck. And I will affix it right like that. Just pick like a, the, like, the way that you like it. Now, what I didn't show you last time that I wanted to show you was the stitching part. Just to do a simple little decoration, I've chosen this kind of reddish color that actually matches the, it's like a dark burgundy that matches the detail here on the bird. So then I just come in and I poke one hole, two, one below it for three, and then one below the other one for four. And that's going to give us a guide to be able to stitch an X right there. So you can look in through the back and go through one hole. <laughs> Sorry, there's a few layers here. Maybe I'll use my little, this is my um, don't hurt your hands trick. Just use a little plier of some kind to pull it through. If you're stitching through harder things, then go through the back. Again, we've got half of our X there. And then back through the front. And then the last hole at the back. Okay. So there we go, we have a little X. Then on the back, I will just um, tie a little knot. And I'm just using little scraplets of thread that I've got hanging about on my desk here. And you can leave them long because they will add to the overall like look of the piece, right? Just like we left the threads longer with the sewing machine. I usually just kind of trim them up so they're all relatively in the same spot. If there's loops, I like to kind of cut them apart like that. I just think it looks a little more interesting. So then we'll come to the back again and we're going to glue the button, which is the paper piece, right? Onto this edge of the tab, the flat side, pop it on there. Just line up the edge of the flat side with the edge of the button. Cause that's sort of like where you're going to want it when you put it in the book. So we'll just kind of give it a little press, flatten it out. There we go, we have the cutest little tab, right? And you can face them either way. You might need to get some birds that, you know, face different directions. Okay, let's get our book. Put the glue pin away here. There we go. So this one's gonna be facing the other direction. So then I've got them in. Where did I put one and two, I think? Yeah, we'll skip three, four. 
And we'll go to five, signature five. And I think I'll place it in the same spot, which is on the biggest page, just here at the back. And then again, with the glue, we're gonna glue the tab in. And this one's gonna be facing inward, which is totally fine. It's how you keep things interesting, you know? There we go. How adorable is that? <laughs> I really like these. I think they're so sweet. So then this is how, you know, his profile will look. And you know, you don't want to give away everything you've done in a book. Oh, and I put him in the wrong position. See, see what happens? I forgot to put him at, at the three, the three position. So let's see if we can lift this. Okay, we can. So what I'll do, I'm going to leave that as a regular tab. See that? That's just a regular, not that special tab. And that's fine because it's not going to interfere, right? If we look here, that's not interfering. But if the bird was there, it'd be interfering. So let's actually go now to the next signature. And we can go right here at the front page, I think. Um, or we could go on the back page again. Yeah, let's do the back page again. So we need to clip another um, tab. this fold and again just glue your button no harm <laughs> I like to show you how to do things and how not to do things it's that's what I'm here for okay, and then just line it up Right like that. Okay. Hmm. You know, I think I will put it on the front because I want the bird on the plain side. So let's go to that third position. Right there. Yeah right there, third position. There we go. <laughs> so now the profile of the book is gonna look a lot better because we have third position bird right here. And we'll do fourth and fifth. So two more to go. And let's just complete both birds and then we'll position them. So I think I'll keep this little guy up here and I'll use the other two because I only really want, I think, one of them to be facing that direction just to be the odd one out. So this guy will come around and I did not do it again. I did it again. I did not back him first. Thankfully, these are pretty easy to, uh, <laughs> to back. I'll do it with this one. So, grab our scrap and our glue stick. Okay. a little bit of purple in the sky a little gold brown and gray and this one is the female and she's a little bit lighter I think her body shapes a little different here than the other ones there we go so now they're both kind of secure so I'm going to come back and get two more tabs. So we'll go one. Two. And two more circles. I think 
with me. They've about used this page up pretty well. That's good. Okay, so now let's fold these. punch away. I don't need it anymore. And then let's make these interesting. So what do I have? I've got a little bit of um, a little bit of Raggedy Book Spine mesh for the first one. And I'm just random, gra random, grabbing, random, putting two words together at the same time here. Random things on my desk. So like don't feel like you have to be using a bunch of complex materials because you don't. So here's one. And I think I'll use that leftover bit of that reddish color. And then if I look at this bird, um, I think I'll go with a little bit of lace, maybe just a titch. And then off to the sewing machine with that. And then the other one, this guy and he's got some black and purple in him um, so I might use this bit of book spine here it's got a little black in it so that'll be the base and then I won't use lace on this one I will use what else do we have kicking about in here a little red lace actually maybe because there's this kind of burgundy color over here I'm going to just clip off the elastic -y bit of this lace though I don't want to deal with that that's good I will switch this for this yeah and then um, we'll add this one here like so okay so I just need a little something else for this. Dig, dig, dig. What do we have? Well, that's kind of interesting. It's a little um, fabric clustery bit that I've got. I don't know that the colors particularly serve it though. Um, hmm. Maybe this. Let's do this little bit of leaf these strawberries are attached to we don't even need it there so that's good yeah a little bit of leaf black book spine lace perfect okay so I'm gonna go stitch both of these and come back and I'm just gonna bring you in a little bit closer for these last two um, so this one go ahead and get the bird down here and then this one we'll get the bird down again and then we'll decide what we want to do in terms of stitching I think I do want to do some stitching I think I'll put the bird here so we don't like lose any one part of this okay so I've got a little bit of green um, that I'll stitch the one with and actually, before I do that, um, whoops, there we go. Let's position her this way. Okay, so I'm gonna actually try to stitch her with this bit that's left over. I don't know if it's long enough though. Hmm, that would maybe be a bit of a stretch. Let's see. I have more to the side if I need it. And I'm not even gonna pre-poke the holes this time. I'm just gonna do it. Just hold that end at the back so we don't lose it. Two. So far, so good. <laughs> Three. And four. Cute, cute. And we'll just stitch right through the um, original spot where we started. Okay. 
Okay, so there's this one. So cute. So let's add that to the tab. Oops. Oh my goodness. These things are so hard to hold on to. Holy moly. <laughs> okay. Oops. Line that up again. There. One. And then we need to thread the green thread on the needle. I don't know if you can hear Toasty, my chihuahua barking upstairs. He's quite enamored by the squirrel right now outside. Rather annoyed. I don't know if it's enamored as much as it is annoyed. He doesn't chase squirrels because he's practically the same size as them. So it's just kind of this mouthing off inside when they can't hear you kind of thing, you know, like he's very a behind your back kind of dog. He has much to say mm -hmm. if you're a squirrel. Okay. It's a little tricky threading this tiny needle with embroidery floss. So I think I'm probably going to miss a few and that does happen sometimes to me. But in this kind of a project, it's really not that important to be honest. Um, so we're gonna come poke a hole through here, I think. Yeah, right there. One. Let's see if we can pull this through. It's because I've missed a, a thread or two. So it wants to be quite difficult. It may not come through. Okay, okay. So let's see. I can just tug it at the back and then we'll just we'll pull those extra threads back like this. You see how I'm just pulling that extra thread or two back back here so we get this little tangle back there. I don't need like six threads worth for this project. It's really not that deep. Um, and poke it through for the first line. Okay, and back here we'll tie a knot because we have lots of excess thread. And then let's take this off the needle. Cut that a little shorter. Okay. Glue our button. Line up this end with the button, the edge of the button. Let's give it a squeeze. Oops. Okay, now we need to glue these on. Pull this out of the way. So remember we're at the four o'clock and five o'clock position. And we'll, that's the last one. This is this one. Okay, so let's go with this page, I think. And we're at four o'clock, so like right here. Or not four o'clock, but fourth position. Fourth position down the whole page of five. Glue it right at the tab. So that it's just the tab on there. That one's done. And then the last one. Oops. He's over here for a second. I'll show it to you at the end, the whole profile. Um, we'll do this maybe 
on this page because this one also is a large page. go fifth position okay perfect so now let's take a look at our books profile here of tabs <laughs> there we go so bird 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 okay so then when you open them you see this and, you know, I kind of like that this is a little hidden, you know, because the bird heads, they're all in different positions, right? So, like, one will stick out a little more than the other, and, and that's okay. They're all different sizes. Like, it's kind of neat. This one's the most pronounced, and that one's maybe the second. This one's hiding because it's in the book, and these are a little less pronounced. And that's kind of cute, actually. Kind of makes you want to go deeper into the book. So then, when the book is put together they're not hanging way out but a couple of them this one is you know but like not super far and they're just kind of peeking and then as I add some more things right like if I decide to use some lace um, you know you're gonna see a bit of lace here popping out and a tab made from fabric and you know an eyelet holding a bead whatever I decide to put on there um, it's just gonna make it kind of fun and interesting and give it that whole ornithology kind of feeling so that's my little project today I'm happy to get a little work done on this book and um, I hope you had fun with these little tabs give them a try it's a really nice project to just kind of sit and do something like watch a movie and just make these little tabs they're a lot of fun okay guys thanks for hanging out with me I'll talk to you again very soon bye for now